हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक आई एम अ फोर्थ ईयर एमबीबीएस स्टूडेंट स्टडिंग इन मैरिज मेडिकल कैंपस टुडे वी विल वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट पाथवेज ऑफ विटामिन डी सिंथेसिस लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड द पाथवे ऑफ विटामिन डी सिंथेसिस स्टार्ट फ्रॉम सेवन डी हाइड्रो कोलेस्टेरोल सेवन डी हाइड्रो कोलेस्टेरोल दैट इज प्रेजेंट ऑन द मल्पिग एन लेयर Malpighian layer of epidermis. So when seven D hydrocholesterol is exposed to UV B ray, that is ultraviolet B ray, its uh, wavelength is two hundred ninety to two hundred fifteen nanometer. Then it gets converted into cholecalciferol. Cholecalciferol is also known as vitamin D three. <coughs> as uh, after exposure to the sunlight uh, uh, there is a synthesis of vitamin d in our body so vitamin d is also known as sunshine vitamin the other sources from which we get vitamin d are from our diet or from the supplements that is drug supplements from diet uh, there is animal source and plant source animal sources like uh, egg yolk cod liver oil cheese and vitamin d fortified milk fortified milk and juice and plant source such as mushroom uh, which are exposed to uv lights are the sources of vitamin d the animal source uh, provides cholecalciferol that is vitamin d3 and if we, uh, we take a plant source then we get another form of vitamin d that is ergocalciferol which is vitamin d2 <clears throat> so when uh, we take vitamin uh, either in d3 or d2 form uh, then uh, it is absorbed in blood and in blood uh, it gets bind to vitamin d binding protein Uh, which is an alpha to globulin and it is transported to liver in liver uh, it undergoes hydroxylation uh, by the in the presence of enzyme uh, 25 hydroxylase and gets converted into 25 hydroxy it gets converted to vitamin d3 gets converted into 25 hydroxy vitamin d3 and vitamin d2 gets converted into 25 hydroxy vitamin d2 but i will write a common name for both 25 hydroxy vitamin d after this again it is transported uh, by using vitamin d binding protein as earlier and it gets transported to kidney in kidney in the region of pct there is an enzyme known as 1 alpha hydroxylase uh which uh, which converts 25 hydroxy vitamin d to 1 comma 25 dihydroxy vitamin d and this is known as calcitriol and this is known as calcidiol uh if our blood has enough calcium or if there is decrease in parathormon hormone then there is no requirement of formation of active form of vitamin d this is an active form of vitamin d so then the kidney by the use of hormone 24 alpha hydroxylase converts 25 hydroxy vitamin d to 24 25 dihydroxy vitamin d and it is inactive form uh, i use a small trick to remember uh, the sequence uh, in which organ the uh, metabolism of vitamin d occurs uh, i use a simple mnemonics 
called silk where s stand for skin and then it goes to liver and finally to kidney and it is a sequence from skin to liver to the kidney and uh, which is calcidiol and calcitriol uh, i remember by counting numbers as there are two numbers two and five it is calcidiol if there are three numbers like one two and five it is calcitriol now the role of active form that is calcitriol in the body are there are there are three roles that it acts on renal system it acts on intestine and it acts on bone in renal system it decreases calcium and phosphate excretion in intestine it increases the absorption of calcium and phosphate and in bone it increases calcium and phosphate resorption that it transfer the calcium and phosphate present in bone to the blood to normalize the calcium level in the blood now let's talk about the recommended daily allowance that is rda for vitamin d that is the normal amount of vitamin d that we need to intake daily uh, for a child uh, of age 0 to 1 year the recommended daily allowance is 400 inter uh, international unit per day which is equivalent to 10 microgram per day and beyond uh, from one year up to 70 years uh, it is 600 international unit per day which is equivalent to 15 microgram per day and uh, beyond 71 years it is 800 international unit per day which is 20 microgram per day 400 at 200 600 and then again at 200 it becomes 800 as the pregnancy and lactating age falls under 1 to 70 years hence the requirement rda for pregnancy and lactating is also 600 international unit per day you can remember the, uh, that way the child less than six months are exclusively breastfed and as we know that the mother breast milk is deficient in vitamin d so we need to expose the child less than six year uh, six months uh, in the sunlight the best time uh, for sun exposure is uh, before 10 a.m and after 3 p.m and uh, at least 15 minute exposure is required this uh, the sun sunlight present in this period is known as safe sun at last the clinical aspect of vitamin d deficiency is rickets and uh, osteomalacia Rickets is seen in child whereas the same feature if it is seen in adult is known as osteomalacia. With this I want to conclude my video for today. See you on next time. Thank you.